On almost any autumn Saturday, this is a part of football's great spectacle. And bands like this combine top flight music with all the marching, razzle dazzle, and precision of a T formation powerhouse. This is a play by play account of how you take 150 students and teach them to do this the story of building a band. <laughs> founded in 1817, had its first band in 1844, nine pieces. Today, with more than 20,000 students enrolled, the music of three bands can be heard across the campus in Ann Arbor. The marching band, which you have just seen, is reorganized into the varsity band after the football season. There is also the concert band, composed of both men and women students, which carries on an active musical schedule throughout the year. Here, conductor William D. Ravelli leads it in a familiar Michigan song, I'll Ne'er Forget My College Days. <laughs> the three, the football band has the most demanding assignment, music plus marching. Since its turnover is 100% every four years, about 50 new members must be added each fall. Tryout competition is stiff. The men must be competent musicians first, physically able to take the marching second. The undergraduate who just loves to march but can't blow an honest note will never get by the music faculty's private audition. Oh, 
horn player with no stamina going to be able to weather assistant conductor Jack Lee's first marching drills when the recruits all seem to have four legs and seven feet. days and many hours later, things are considerably improved. Before the 150 men are through, they will march an aggregate of 2,700 miles a week, all to put on a six-minute show on Saturday. Gradually, some of the snap and precision begins to show as they rehearse special routines. Here are the dance steps for a rousing cakewalk. daily emphasis because they know they've got to play it right to march it right. The ear is as critical as the eye and the interruptions are frequent. Too much brass boys, too much brass. All right, let's try it again. Mark time, pick them up. Cadence, 176 steps a minute. Let's go. Meanwhile, the only non-playing members of the band go through their faces, the two twirlers. And the man up front, the high strutting drum major. He's the idol of the small fry. Now, with the aid of miniatures, the bandsmen are shown a Michigan production number, the Hula Girl. This briefing gives each member a complete picture, makes him more than a solitary horn blower on the 40-yard line, makes him part of a team. Carrying mimeograph charts, which give each man his exact position during all parts of the number, the students take the field to step through the Hula for the first time. limited to the practice field, however. There are student librarians and copyists behind the scenes, keeping current a music library valued at $30,000. It's a big job. A new show each Saturday, new music, new routines. All of this takes time, effort, and costs money. Uniform expenses, for example, come to $150 per musician. The well-dressed bandsman gets an elaborate fitting. His yellow and blue wardrobe includes cap, coat, trousers, overcoat with cape, fancy belts, and yellow spats. Another major expense is instruments, many of which are owned by the university. When the band travels, this baggage fills up a good part of a railroad car. Student equipment managers have the rough job of tossing the 10 tubas around, along with 32 cornets, 27 clarinets, 19 horns, 16 saxophones, 14 trombones, 12 baritones, 8 drums, and 2 glockenspiels. But of course, there's always the bright boy who knows just where the little flute's buried. Now in the 97,000-seat Michigan Stadium, the band polishes up in a final dress rehearsal before an audience of two, Conductor Ravelli and Assistant Lee. First, they dance their cakewalk to the Darktown Strutter's Ball.
Lula girl gets the full treatment, her legs, arms, and body wiggling in best island tradition to the Hawaiian war chant. are used to working on the railroad. Their locomotive really moves, complete with smoke and revolving wheels. number. For over the years, the Michigan band has accompanied the team to cities from coast to coast, has become a national attraction from New York's Yankee Stadium to Pasadena's Rose Bowl. Michigan Stadium. No dress rehearsal this. 75,000 see the finished product in the parade of the wooden soldiers. rocket ship hurtling toward Mars. they see the band form the familiar M-I-C-H, the grand finale. What they don't see is the story behind the band, the hours of practice, the days of drill, the weeks of planning. It's a job that takes many skills, and it's got to be spectacular, fast-moving, dramatic. Call it show business, and call this the kind of show that makes the Saturday crowd rise to its feet with the cry, Here comes the band! Thank you.